Hi, this is Dr. Ross Enfinger with another CDOX Chrome Beam Tip of the Day. In today's video, I'm going to review how to use SciCAD Implant 2.0 to visualize the drill channels on your implants uh, to help you better plan your virtual implant placement. So in this video, I've already integrated all my Chrome Beam data and CAD CAM data together, and um, I have my initial proposal for my implants. Um, so I'm going to use the drill channel to visualize, visualize that uh, placement. So go to Settings, SciCat Suite, SciCat Implant, and highlight that selection. And you'll notice that you get taken to this window. We're going to modify our drill channels. And we're going to do this to better visualize our screw access opening. So I like to take this uh, diameter and place it at 3 millimeters. That's approximately the size of the hole in your abutment block. So that will help you visualize that. Then I'm going to increase the length of the drill path um, so that we can better parallel our implants. Right? When you're in this window, you can also manage your safety margins as well, all within the same window. So I've selected my uh, increased drill path lengths and diameters, and now I can use those to better plan my virtual implants. So I'm going to go ahead and move the implants into more favorable restorative position using those yellow cylinders to help me visualize not only the screw access but also parallelism between multiple implants and also parallelism with the adjacent contacts. So it's a nice trick to visualize your virtual implant placement. I hope you enjoyed the video for today and join us back on CDOCS for the next Cone Beam Tip of the Day. Thank you.